Egypt, the cradle of human civilization, emerged as the stage where tales of gods, pharaohs, and a rich tapestry of valor, love, and treachery interwove within the mystical embrace of the Golden Sands and the majestic Nile, echoing through the annals of time. Amid this vivid panorama of history, one name resonates profoundly, Cleopatra, born in 69 BC. She embodied beauty, power, and a captivating allure that reverberates through the corridors of time. Cleopatra, the seventh Philippa, emerged as the final active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom. Thrust into a realm brimming with political intrigues and power machinations, descending from the lineage of Tommy II, a general under the fabled Alexander the Great. She inherited a dynasty seamlessly blending Greek sophistication with the enigmatic mystique of Egypt, creating an unparalleled cultural mosaic. From her formative years, Cleopatra was nurtured not merely as a princess, but as a perceptive leader. Her education within the intellectual haven of Alexandria immersed her in a spectrum of subjects, ranging from astronomy to medicine, fluent in multiple languages spanning Greek to Aramaic. She epitomized a diplomat par excellence, capable of negotiating across the courts of both the Eastern and Western realms. However, the early stages of Cleopatra's reign were marred by political turmoil and familial betrayals a common undercurrent in the tumultuous history of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Exiled by her ambitious brother, Tommy VII, Cleopatra found herself ousted from power. Yet, her resilient spirit refused to concede defeat. She sought allies, strategized meticulously, and harbored a steadfast determination to reclaim her rightful throne. Enter Julius Caesar, the eminent Roman general. Their legendary meeting. Entwined with rumors of Cleopatra being smuggled into Caesar's chambers concealed within a carpet, marked the inception of an alliance poised to reshape the known world. Together, they navigated the perilous waters of politics and passion, solidifying their bond with the birth of their son, Caesarion, meaning Little Caesar. Cleopatra's visit to Rome served not merely as a diplomatic mission, but as a cultural extravaganza where her exotic presence, entourage, and grandeur captivated and intrigued the Roman populace, introducing them to the splendors of Egypt. However, their love story was abruptly truncated by the fateful Ides of March, which witnessed Caesar's betrayal and assassination, leaving Cleopatra vulnerable and in despair. Returning to Egypt, a grieving Cleopatra was faced with an uncertain future. Fate, however, had other plans introducing her to Mark Antony, a Roman whose charisma and military prowess found a perfect match. In Cleopatra's intelligence and charm, their alliance burgeoned into one of history's most iconic romances. Their audacious dreams of a united empire were proclaimed during the donations of Alexandria, where they declared their children rulers of various regions, seen as a direct challenge to Rome's dominion. Octavian, a rising force in Rome, perceived Dantony and Cleopatra as a threat, igniting a vicious propaganda war against them. The Battle of Actium, a titanic naval confrontation, saw the culmination of this rivalry. Despite their combined might, Antony and Cleopatra faced a crushing defeat at the hands of Octavian's fleet in Alexandria. Desolation and apprehension pervaded the once vibrant streets as Octavian's forces cast a foreboding shadow over the city's grandeur. A tragic miscommunication drove Antony to believe Cleopatra was deceased, leading him to take his life. Heartbroken and captured by Octavian, Cleopatra found herself in a world where her power was dwindling in a final act of defiance. She chose her destiny, refusing to be paraded as a symbol of victory in Rome. Legend has it that she ended her life using the bite of an asp, a poignant symbol of divine royalty, ensuring her place in history as a queen who dictated her own fate.